Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today is going to be a good day. We're going to do a little bit of something different. Not a medical video, but electronics nonetheless. You see, I uh, I did crash my Jeep. My back still hurts, but I have a replacement car. One which has thrown me into marital bliss. I'm just kidding, by the way. <laughs> um, I went and got a uh, C6 Corvette. Got to steal the deal on it. And uh, the only problem is, is the, the sound system, the stereo... It is outdated. Drives me absolutely crazy. It does not have Android Auto. Guys, I need Android Auto. Not just for like directions. I mean, I can get around reasonably without the GPS, but Android Auto tells me where things like speed traps are. I need, it's, I need to know where the speed traps are, guys. I need this in my life, okay? Uh, but the, the other thing it does, it tells me where traffic is. And this is Houston. Traffic here sucks. <laughs> So, uh, Android Auto helps me negate uh, as much traffic as possible. It's absolutely essential. And right now, my phone, I have to, like, uh, hold it in my lap or something. It's really goofy. And the cup holders in the Corvette are so small. So, I went and got a, a new stereo. Let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so, uh, according to Crutchfield... This guy here should fit absolutely fine. This is Kenwood DMX 908S. It is a fantastic head unit. It does have Apple slash uh, Android Auto HD radio. It's got a whole bunch of inputs and outputs and puts puts and just good stuff. Um, I like the interface. I love that. I like the buttons. I like physical buttons. Um, should be good for everything. I have a radio replacement interface and I have a bezel. And uh, I guess that's where we're going to start out. So first thing first, we have to start by connecting this guy to this guy. There is a wiring harness that's in here. I need to interface it. And that is why we're at the soldering station. So let me go ahead and set up the camera and uh, let's get the soldering these two together so we can get this guy installed. All right, guys. So uh, here is my pack module. This is a digital interface module with the vehicle. There are a lot of special things that your radio does now that it didn't used to do. One of them is it kind of helps control your chimes, which are your warning indicators inside the vehicle. So uh, this pack module is a really interesting device that somebody's developed. And uh, there's just a couple of things that you should notice. There is a legend on the back and you should be aware of non-amplified and amplified. So amplified is for the Bose amplified speaker systems. That's a premium sound system. The non-premium is the uh, non-amplified right here. And you can see expansion port, interface, comm, uh, but also down here, select dip switches. So we have to select the dip switches according to what radio we have. So we have a Kenwood. So now I got to read up and figure out what dip switch goes where and then that guy set once that guy set now we have to move into our crazy wiring harnesses uh so they're color coded that's nice and there is micro printing on the wires which is also kind of nice but um this is the one for the radio and these match pairs like here here these greens um i think let's see there's some purples yeah some purples so the wires are matched pairs, and it's got this long dingle hopper of a, of a black negative ground. We got a 12 volt, and then we have a, um, well this one here is probably a ignition wire, so that when the car is on, the radio knows to come on. So you have a switched 12 volt, we have a full time 12 volt, and then we have a permanent ground. And let's see, we have P, Kant, not really sure what that one is. Um, power or something. We have illumination, uh, which I don't think I'll use. Maybe I will. Steering wheel uh, remote input, which, hmm, this guy here does do some uh, funky stuff for steering wheel. Don't know if I'm going to use it. We have uh, these camera guys right here. So camera plus and camera minus. I don't think I'm going to use these because uh, what a lot of people do is they tap into the reverse 
on the camera. Uh, so I, I don't know. I don't know if I'll use these guys or not because um, the CAM bus should tell the radio that it's in reverse. However, uh, if you just tap into the 12 volts in the back, I don't know, maybe I will use these because if I do, then uh, I can turn the camera on without the vehicle being in reverse. So most people just tie into the reverse light and that's how you get your 12 volt. So anyway, uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to connect these ones with these ones, solder them together, and uh, then we should be good. Let's see, I have a reverse right here and we have a parking switch. So the parking switch is an interesting one because uh, I think all you have to do is run it to a ground. You're supposed to run it to the parking brake and that is so that you can access certain features of the radio. Um, it's, you know, it's a thing about lawyers and, you know, congressmen and stuff. So it, it's a legal requirement. However, most people, I, I believe, just run this guy to ground so you can access certain features of your radio whenever you want. And then there's one other wire over here. This is a speed sensor. And I believe this is so the radio can control its volume automatically with the speed of the vehicle. I don't know if I'm going to use that. Hmm, I'll have to think about it. So anyway, guys, uh, that's what we're going to do is we're going to uh, strip these guys back and we're going to match them line for line and solder them, shrink tube them, and we should have a matching together wiring harness. Let's do that right now. All right, everyone, you can see that I have the two wiring harnesses conjoined right here in the middle. I've got as many pairs matched up as possible, and uh, yeah, they're pretty good. So um, just the one thing you have to remember is to put your heat shrink on beforehand. I've made that mistake too many times in my career <laughs> to make that mistake now, so um, I'm, I'm pretty diligent about this stuff now. So the next step is to properly align all the uh, heat shrink tube. And this is dual layer heat shrink tube. So it's marine grade, it's got an inner glue and it makes a much better bonded and watertight humidity proof connection. All right, so you can see all those guys right there. I know that one there looks like it's called solder joint, but it's not, it's, it's good. So on to the next, we're gonna heat shrink them and then the stereo. Let's go and install it in the car. All right, everyone. I have the harnesses finished and assembled. I have these three wires over here. All my shrink tubes are beautiful. It's all beautiful. Some of these are longer than necessary. I left them that way. I have plenty of space. So now I have to connect this guy to this guy and set this guy up. All right, guys, here we are. This is the 2008 C6 Corvette, and uh, we're gonna change out the stereo head unit. It's, it's got some interesting features, but uh, it's still definitely dated. And uh, we got a new stereo, so we'll, let's go ahead and let's get to it. All right, so right here, this is the original head unit with nav. And when you press this little cute button right here, it opens up, there's a DVD slot, and then there is a regular CD slot, which is very interesting. The DVD, is it for the nav believe it or not it's for the nav so i have a, a new bezel and i have all this is going to pop out and in order to do that first i have to take off this outer bezel and part of my dash which is going to be real fun so i'm going to pull these out i've got a couple other fasteners to pull here so i'm going to go ahead and do that now i'm going to pull out the 10 millimeters and uh, the seven millimeters up here. Let's pull the dash apart and get a better view of what this project's gonna entail. Okay, everyone. Well, I uh, got it back together. Believe it or not, there is not very much space in this car to do much of any video. Um, that, and it's very hot out today in Texas, you know. So um, it's, it's really kind of self-explanatory. Uh, let me go ahead and Flip the camera around, I'll show you what I did and show you uh, what it looks like. All right, so this is the new stereo installed. I had to take out the whole dash right here, take this guy out, had to take out the air conditioning controls, pretty much this entire bezel had to come out. And uh, now, we're good. Okay, now the boot up screen is a little bit on the slow side but uh, the good thing is it pops right in let's go ahead and turn it down so i don't get blasted for copyright which <laughs> does happen um the other thing that i ran is 
I ran a cable. Ah, da, 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 da. There we go. That's my copyright infringement. So um, I did run a cable all the way to the back, and that is for my backup camera. And while I was at it, I went ahead and I notched out this little section right here, and I placed a USB-C, which runs all the way up here to the back of the stereo, so I can do fast charging on my phone. Just plug the phone in here, set it and forget it. I'm good. Plus, I still have my 12 volt right here. And uh, this is also is for uh, Android Auto fast charging. I dig it. Right now, I have uh, Android Auto, and this is with the um, the wireless Android Auto. Pretty cool. So anyway, um, I had to run the camera cable back here, under this, and then under the the back of this around the perimeter and I had to tap it in back here and that allows me to not have a backup camera all of a sudden oh I love it oh troubleshooting troubleshooting anyway let me show you what the backup camera <laughs> is supposed to look like All right, so here's the backup camera mounted on and above my license plate. And that's lovely. Of course, I would get it back together and something wouldn't work right. Anyway, that is kind of to be expected. So um, that's one of my projects in a nutshell. <laughs> I don't get it. Um, but anyway, just, uh, it is what it is, right? Uh, I will fix that. It means that one of my wires got a little slipped up. It kind of sucks because these newer vehicles, they're kind of smart when you put them in reverse and things like your door are open and whatnot, you'll have problems. Yeah, it's, it's going to give you problems. So, um, anyway, I'm going to go and fix that and, uh, <laughs> That would be my stereo. That would be my stereo installed here in the vehicle. Got HD radio, Android Auto. Um, I can set this button right here for camera, or you can just press the camera button, which of course I've got no camera because I have no reverse at the moment. Um, but yeah, not too bad. I wish I would have had uh, a better tripod so I could have showed you guys the tear apart and everything, but. You guys don't need to see that. You get it. Everything tucks back in here. Luckily, there's plenty of space because this is a shallow mount radio. And uh, here we are. It's all good. Anyway, guys, just wanted to show you a quick uh, update, a non-medical video on something that I'm doing. And, uh, you know, <laughs> thanks. So uh, I hope you like it. And uh, thanks for watching.